Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In today's session, we are going to learn about how to call the copy of an action and how to call the existing action. In previous tutorial, we have learned how to create a test flow using call a new action. This is a requirement we have created. Now we got a new requirement to check the PNR status for this particular value. But we have already created launch Indian Railways website and close the application action. So we can either use call to copy of an action or call to an existing action. Now we will create a test for this requirement by using both the functionalities. So file new test created then I'm just renaming it PNR status first functionality is call to copy of an action either you can select from the design drop down or right click and select the action it is the shortcut copy of an action we will get the select action window in this you have to select the test the launch test have three reusable action we need launch application action and this needs to be inserted after the current step at the end of test at the end of test now i want to insert it at the current step we got copy of launch application You can rename this also. Renaming it. So whatever the changes which we are making it here will not affect the main copy because we took a copy of it. So as per our requirement, even we can change the URLs also if needed. The launch application code describes it will launch the URL using system util dot run then instead of sync I have used dot exist it is also a dynamic uh, sync after that in case if it gets failed instead of going to the next step it should exit the action now we have included the launch application the next step is we have to navigate to the PNR status, then we have to enter the value and search for the details. So, either you can create a new action like last class. If you don't want to create a new action, you can code it here also. It is up to you. It is always a best practice that each functionality or a screen, we have to keep it as a separate reusable using design i am going to create a new action it is at the end of the test or after the current step for us it is after the current step just click on ok if you see the chart so first it will launch and next one is pnr status after that call to existing action I am going to use the close application reusable action after the current step you can see the lock symbol it means it is a in read only mode so you can't make any changes to this particular script you can see the flow also first it will launch then it is it will go to the PNR status details and finally it will close the application now we are going to code for PNR status details we have added the required objects now first is it should click on the link then it should enter the PNR number then it should click on the get status button yes 
save it if we execute this it will fail because we didn't associate the object repository so what you have to do is right click associate repository to function library the shared object repository is associated to the pnr status details i have mentioned pnr number to search and also to capture the screenshot in this path now we will execute this end to end scenario application is launched entering the pnr status and the details is displayed as per the requirement and finally we close the application we'll see the results file so you took the screenshot of pnr status and also it displayed the results that's the end of today session in case of any clarification please post your queries thanks for watching have a nice day